All right, folks, welcome back to the garage. This episode, we're gonna be working back, not on this guy, we're gonna be working on the trike. I'm gonna to try to get it finished up. I wanna really get it painted. That way we can take it down to the Cars and Coffee and uh, get some local people taking a look at it. Um, what I wanna do right now, I wanna pull the seat out. So we'll pull the front off, pull the seat out, and then we're gonna take and uh, do a little bit of body filler on the seat, get it squared away, get it painted, and then we're gonna finish up this. I still gotta sand it, uh, do any additional little touch-ups and, and take care of that. And then we're still going to tackle the additional uh, fiberglass that needs to go on the inside there. So in this episode, we're gonna tackle all that. And then uh, hopefully get it at least primed white for um, taking it to cars and coffee. So see how far we get, but that's what we're gonna do. Stay tuned. Next step, let's get it sanded, flush it out. Once it's good, we'll go ahead and get it painted. And then we'll hop back over to the entire shroud. We got all the body filler sanded down right now. There's a couple little pinholes here and there and everywhere. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit it with some high build primer, fill those pits in, give it a quick sand, and then we'll hit it with our white paint.
All right, so I went ahead, got it, kind of dust coated with primer, and then out in the sunlight, you could see a bunch of smaller pit holes, like right here. There's some up here, here. Uh, so just little voids. And with those little voids, what we're gonna use is we're gonna use a glazing putty to fill it in. It's a single part mix, dries by itself. You don't need to put an accelerator into it. And it's intended for these little tiny pinholes. So we'll go ahead, toss that on there. And then we'll hit it all with some sandpaper. Give it one more coat of primer and then we'll spray it all white. While that's drying up, we got a couple of holes to drill to insert our nut certs down here. And then we'll go get those holes drilled in the back of the panel uh, for the seat and get it bolted up on here. So we got it prepped, we went ahead, wiped it down with some uh, deionized water, removed the bulk of the uh, debris, then cleaned it off with some isopropyl, got it all nicely taken care of, prepared. So we're gonna hit it one coat of primer all the way across the whole thing, and then we're gonna hit it with some white. Alright guys, so it's cured up overnight, well most of the day yesterday out in the sun, and it's pretty much dry. So we'll go ahead, toss it on there, drill our mounting holes, and then uh, we'll work on spraying some of the back panel.
what we're gonna do, we're gonna take off our seat pan again. I gotta grind this down right here, and then we're gonna mask it off where it's just outside edge, just completely masked off. Same on the other side and the back side, and then we're gonna take and just spray our back seat area right here. I know there's a bunch of pits and voids, but we're running out of time and I wanna take this out next weekend. So uh, we'll go ahead and just spray it. And then the, even with these panels, I'm not super happy with them, so we'll work them later. But this is good enough to uh, keep moving forward and get it registered. Cool, so now you guys can see it right there. It is all painted up. It's not perfect, not nearly as close as I'd want it to be, but for the purposes of getting registered and getting going, I think that's good enough. Plus, I love the way that it's white right now. So we'll, we'll still have to do, you know, mounting brackets for uh, the windshield right here. We'll still have to finish up the back end and um, get it all squared away for um, the fiberglass and paint fat as well. Uh, and then on the next episode, we're gonna install our M unit blue, which is gonna be our controller for all the lighting, the computer and everything else. I know I was gonna do the Arduino originally, but uh, this is just gonna be so much easier to do it this way. So stay tuned, see you next episode.